On this spot, 60 years ago, I was a wide-eyed freshman going to Saturday morning class. <laughs> we were introduced to formidable engineering curriculum, a very large uh, number of, of classroom hours with classes in, in uh, differential equations and thermodynamics and kinetics of mechanisms. We didn't know what those words meant, but we thought it sounded exciting. Engineering soon learned a theological maxim. Hell has a constant temperature. <laughs> if, temperature var <clears throat> if temperature variations could exist or could be created, some engineer would build an air conditioner. <laughs> of course, there is a, another possibility that temperature variations do exist there, but there are no engineers there. Yeah. It's often been said, some see the glass full, some see the glass half empty. Engineer sees the glass is twice as big as it needs to be. <laughs> and so we dedicate this new building, this magnificent new building, but by itself it cannot impart knowledge. It requires people to provide that function. And it's my fervent hope that they'll have the same affection for Purdue and this building when they are my age that I have for this university and those Quonset huts.